Hey, Ron, show us your roots. Okay. How pathetic is that? I mean, everybody knows better than to lift the lid on an operating air pony cloner, right? Right. This is not to say that aeroponic cloners don't work well, because they do. I have two of them, and I'm going to keep them. Check out the roots on this tomato cutting. These are probably the healthiest roots in the entire universe. So yes, aeroponic cloners work very well. However, owners of aeroponic cloners also realize there are certain maintenance challenges ranging from clogged emitters to leaks. Notice that we've added a drip tray to this unit. Also, as shown previously, be aware that if you remove the top of an aeroponic cloner, you can get your camera very wet. There are also people problems associated with aeroponic cloners. For example, if you happen to have a friend or a curious customer lift the lid a bit and not put it back on straight, you're due for a lot of mopping. Don't worry folks, there's a new cloner in town that doesn't require a drip tray and doesn't have those maintenance problems. It's called the OxyClone. It uses the deep water culture principle and is available in two models, a 12 position and a 16 position model. The manufacturer is presently working on an 80 position model, which should be available soon. The operation of these units is very simple. They all contain a submersible pump and an adjustable air inlet valve. Mainly used for cloning, these units can also be used as an herb garden by adding your favorite nutrient. By watching this for a while, you can easily see how this unit operates. It constantly pulls in fresh air through the air valve, through the pump, releasing it into the solution. The force of air and water from the pump causes the mixture to be uniformly mixed. It also creates thousands of air bubbles which explode, releasing moisture and oxygen to the rooting area. If you happen to have an arrow garden and you're in between crops or not using anymore for some reason, the light cycle is perfect for an herb garden or for cloning. So dust that baby off and use it for the oxyclone. It's a lot quicker to start an herb garden from cuttings than it is from germinating seeds. A week later we noticed considerable growth to these new basal plants both on the tops and the bottoms. Each of these basal plants now has beautiful tasty leaves as well as a sturdy root system. They're now ready to plant elsewhere or to continue growing underneath these lights. Here's an oxyclone fully loaded with brand new basal cuttings. In our next video we will show a step-by-step -step procedure of doing cuttings as well as show the progression of these cuttings. Ron, show us your roots. You didn't say <laughs> I fucked it up because I thought you were going to do three. I thought you were going to do three. It's been fun. Thanks for watching.